Uh, we're moving now to a Gold Cup, obviously quarterfinals there, um, four matches uh, to preview. Um, the first uh, match is uh, Canada uh, versus Haiti. Uh, Canada there, they're priced at 1.62. Canada have been a bit, a bit of a surprise uh, team, although in some of these ones it's a little bit hard to gate. You know, some have been in easier groups. Um, but obviously Canada came in second behind um, uh, Group A winner Mexico tournament uh, favourites um, as well. Um, but Haiti have also been um, a dark horse. They were not supposed to win. This They were supposed to be playing, Canada was supposed to be playing Costa Rica because Costa Rica was supposed to be winning the group, but they didn't. Haiti did because they beat Costa Rica. So here we are, 1.62. I am not so confident that that Canada will win. Uh, I'm. I don't know about uh, the winners market. Uh, I will stay away from the winners market well, yeah. because uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous uh, tournament. Uh, I think that uh, I was uh, very lucky with some matches till now because uh, uh, I am also betting on the Gold Cup, but Haiti. Uh, uh, um, Martin's favorite uh, team from the Gold Cup, <laughs> you know that he wrote uh, uh, an essay, uh, 2,000 words essay about Haiti uh, for the Gold Cup, you know. Uh, Haiti six goals in three matches, mm. uh, winning that group easily, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. A uh, huge surprise against uh, Costa Rica there, and uh, they were prized at 5.5 to beat Costa Rica. I think that they can find the back of the net against uh, a decent Canada side, you know. Canada at football are uh, are not uh, good, and we all know that. But they are decent this uh, uh, this season, uh, the, in this tournament. So, But I think that Haiti can score against Canada. So, for me, both teams to score at 2.1 looks at a, uh, like a great bet. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree. They've they've conceded. They've they they average. They score two goals a game. They've conceded just twice. Uh, Canada, I think, will I, find the back of the net as well. Both teams to score is my bet. Chef Michael. Yeah, I think we're uh, reading from each other's uh, notes here because I'm on the same exact thing. I mean, both of these teams, it's full speed ahead, and that's the only way they know i mean they they score goals the canada put up what seven in the last round uh both of them scoring goals for fun so yeah absolutely both teams will score yeah all yeah. over it yeah, 12 times Canada has found the back of the net. Very interesting, though, that we are all staying away from that Canada win. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you, with either three of the outcomes. So that's why I'm staying away from the outrights. Um, okay, uh, uh, anyway, anyway the, the, the team who will qualify further from uh, this match uh, will 1,000% play Mexico in the semifinals. Mm. So the far they can go is still the semifinals because... Mexico is winning this thing. Well, USA are not maybe sure. Anyway, not. We, will, uh, we will talk after. Maybe not. Which brings us on Costa Rica versus Mexico. You never know. Mexico 1.44, okay. draw 4.5, and Costa Rica 9. Um, now, obviously, um, now the, one of the things, actually, because I was talking with my uh, to my office about uh, this match, because obviously they're all, be all behind it. Now, Matosas, uh, Costa Rica's coach, used to coach for Mexico. So he knows the teams, he knows the taxes. They do have a little weapon in their arsenal when they come and play Mexico. So... They may not. They may so, win. No, no, because <laughs> no, because uh, Mexico has a new team. Uh, many, many of the uh, players uh, uh, have been left out uh, of this tournament. Some of them refused uh, to uh, to play at the Gold Cup. And Mexico has many, many young players, absolutely brilliant on the pitch. They are scoring goals for fun. They scored 13 goals in this competition in three matches. Uh, yeah, they might concede against Costa Rica. But they are absolutely brilliant going forward. So no possible way Costa Rica can pull off the upset and uh, uh, knock out uh, Mexico from the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup. I think that Mexico can go all the way and uh, win uh, this uh, tournament. Mm. So uh, Mexico halftime, full time at 2.2. 2. Yeah, that's a... Wow. That's a, that's wow. a that's a, oh, what do you what do you think, Chef Michael? That's a that's a great 
great number for, for that bet. I mean, there's no way Mexico shouldn't be leading at halftime. <laughs> Uh, I completely agree with that. I will also look for Mexico and over 2.5. I mean, this this young team yes. is full of full of energy and like Alex said, you know, some of the some of the other guys were left off the roster. So I mean, a lot of these young uh, Mexico players they're they're looking to make a name for themselves. So they're going forward and they're scoring lots of goals. Uh, I like the halftime full time look, and I would uh, I like Mexico and over 2.5. Yeah. What what, what, what were the, the odds you got for that, that one? You know, uh, my 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 books that I have access to out here uh, did not have gold gold cup lines out yet, so I'm not really too sure. I just I I would look that direction. Yeah. Uh, once they do come out, but yeah, what? I still don't have um, lines up for gold cup. Well, I can. I, I will. I will tell you. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, Natalie. Go. On. No, no. You go. You you go for it. I'm just. Uh, yeah. You 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 uh, go for it. It's right. You mess a quick message here. Mexico and over 2.5 goals in the match at 2.8. Free with Paddy Power. Yeah. 3.2 with Coral. I like Absolutely. it. Yeah. Well, I was looking at um, uh, I was looking at Mexico and the over 1.5 goals. Even that has value. You get that from our 1.75, 1.8. Mm. Um, Mexico minus one. At 1.73. Yes. Um, obviously, Costa Rica have been known for their for their defence in the past. Like that's what helped them in the World Cup in 2014. Yes. Uh, but obviously, Kayla Navas has not been playing. They have been conceding. They've conceded what a goal a game. No, they didn't. They didn't concede against Nicaragua. But they, you know, they they they, they conceded against Haiti. They conceded against um, uh, the Bermuda. Um, so yeah. Um, Mexico and the over 1.5 goals I like at 1.78. All uh, right, two more games uh, to preview. Panama versus Jamaica. This one I'm a little stuck on, I have to say. Um, I I think it's going to be a close match. Um, uh, Panama second in Group D, Jamaica first in Group C. But that was just with one win. So I think that they're going to be pretty evenly matched. Maybe a lean towards Jamaica. I don't know. That's why hopefully you guys have got a better call. Chef Michael. Yeah, I would look kind of to Jamaica. It's kind of a deceiving match because like you just said, they only got through with one win. Yeah. Um, I think I think both of these teams are pretty pretty closely evenly matched, uh, 1 through 11. But uh, I might look under. I don't think there's going to be a lot of goals in this match. Um, but yeah, Jamaica, maybe Jamaica and under – and the under. Yeah, you sound about as convinced as I am about this match. Is this is this really, yeah, is this really a, like one that you hard, are like? Are you gonna are you gonna like skip this one? Pretty hard match to break down with these two. Yeah, so basically, this is really like an official pass. Yeah, I probably won't have any official play for this one. But if I had to lean a certain way, I might lean Jamaica and probably the under. I like the under probably more than I like Jamaica. Oh, okay. What about you, Alex? Yeah, I was looking at the under 2.5, but the price is very low at 1.4. The best odds that you can get on the mar market right now for under 2.5. So I will not touch that. Uh, I really don't know what to play. I, I was thinking draw final time at 2.9. Uh, oh. I think that uh, it has some value also. Uh, draw and both teams to score no goalless draw, uh, which I think that is priced around 5.7. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's very tough to call it. Jamaica to qualify at 1.87. I mm. think that that's a good set of odds. Uh -huh. And they are the underdogs. Imagine that they are the underdogs to qualify. But it's a little bit weird, strange, because Jamaica... Uh, are uh, uh, with some bookies they are the the, the favorites to win this match and underdogs to qualify with some other bookies they are underdogs to qualify and favorites to uh, to uh, on the match you know mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit strange i don't think that uh, also the bookies know what they're uh, doing here you know <laughs> because uh, it's it's very hard to call uh, such a game so yeah i think that if we are not sure, we should we should pass it because um, yeah, I think we have plenty plenty of other options like 
Uruguay to win against. Well, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> There's an, exactly. So we, because we're previewing eight matches and this is just one. That is fine. Final match. USA 1.1, draw seven and Curacao uh, 21, price 21. Um, obviously, USA, um, quite surprisingly, USA, they've scored 11. They've conceded zero. Um, one group D. Um it's obviously going to be a USA win, but the question is, is, is how and where is the value? Alex, did you find anything? You tell me where is the value here. I, I only see value uh, on, uh, but also that, Curaçao plus 3.5 I was looking mm. because uh, the huge price that they are given right now at 29, I thought, okay, at 29 plus 3.5 should be around 1.7, you know? But... Plus 3.5 is around 1.23. So I'm going back and I'm going USA minus 2.5. No, even that, minus 2 on the Asian handicap at 1.69. Mm. Minus 2. So yeah. if they win by two goals, you get your money back. Mm. 1.69, almost 1.7, the limit that I'm usually playing there. Uh, but uh, in some cases, I like also uh, lower odds. So yeah, my USA minus 2. Because... Uh, USA are uh, against small teams like Curaçao. They played against Guyana, they scored four. They played against Trinidad and Tobago, they scored six. Uh, so they are scoring goals for fun. Plus, they have uh, free clean sheets uh, at uh, this uh, tournament. So I don't think that Curaçao will be able no. uh, to, to score against them. So USA minus two on the Asian handicap at 1.69. Yeah, Bring it yeah. On. Not a bad, not a bad look at all. Not as good as Uruguay to win, though, but not a bad look. No. <laughs> what about you, Chef Michael? Yeah, I don't think Curacao is going to score here. USA had a um, completely rotated squad last night and uh, rested every single starter and brought, finally brought in uh, Christian Pulisic in the later half of that second half and started bringing some guys in and finally got a goal in. Um, so they're going to be completely uh, rested, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't disagree at all with the, the minus two play. I'm gonna uh, haven't seen the lines like I said yet, but I would be interested to see a halftime, full time, 